knowing what's going on in your apps. Um, for all intents and purposes, you know, this is an over ops dashboard and it's not about the dashboard per se, it's just knowing. And so we, we did this, this notion of application scorecards. So you can see like we have an invoice app, a catalog app. It tells me how many new errors I have in the last 24 hours, how many critical, how many unique total exceptions. The idea is to try to surface the most important app. You can see these ones in the green are looking great. I don't need to focus my time there. And as I drill in, the idea is to be able to see all these metrics and then be able to see the issues that are happening. Because I think one of the challenges that a lot of people have is when I deploy new code at two in the morning um, and the first new issue comes in, and see it happens once, nobody knows. Like, where's the alert around that? Unless I write specific, like I see a lot of people who take log entries that developers make and they, they do queries with Splunk looking for those. Um, that all takes foresight. And if you do that, you don't know. But OverOps will detect that for you and give you an, an alert saying, hey, there's new error. And then the magic part of OverOps is a root cause screen. So this is the single pane of glass that I'm talking about. When you're trying to troubleshoot an app and someone's looking at the log, someone's looking at a stack trace, someone's looking at some metrics in some dashboard, it's different panes of glass. OverOps gives you a root cause screen that shows you source code and all the data for every variable that was moving through the system at the time of the error. So you can see this is a shopping cart. I can see my customer, I can see order, shipment detail. Now keep in mind quickly, we redact PII, PCI data. So let's take that off the table, it's all secure. So I'll only see the important part of a customer. I wouldn't see any specifics, right? No addresses or anything like that. But the, the cool, cool part is it's method over method for the entire stack. So in a traditional code, you would get a log message where the error happened in a stack trace. But with OverOps, you get this, this nice root cause screen. So that being said, I want to feed this into what we talked about. The data needs to surface and, and integrate with the tools you use so that you can use this anywhere. So in the shift left world, if I'm using Jenkins or any CI tool, I want a quality gate. At the end of my build, I want something that, test, that, that monitors my code, which is OverOps, and there's a plugin OverOps offers that will give you a quality report. It tells me if I have new errors, resurfaced errors, critical errors, and the link is back to the root cause screen. So again, surfacing the data in a CI tool. We have this for Bamboo, Team City, et cetera, et cetera. Same thing with a static tool analysis, like SonarCube. OverOps will surface this data here as well. So if your team relies on SonarCube, then we don't want to change their workflow, right? They log into SonarCube every day, they have to work at all the bugs. OverOps will surface this data here. And then you could drill in and it'll take you, there's a drill in screen and you can go right to root cause. We actually will show you the source code and show you the method where the error happens. There's a click to root cause screen. If I like to create JIRAs, I'm very big on this automation, automation, automation. We like to set up this with our customers. Any new exception through a QA cycle or even in production creates some sort of ticket, you know, automation. So in a QA region, like OverOps identified a new error in the order, for, or, order fulfillment uh, transaction. And so it gives you context. And then I get which application, which version of the application, and a click link to root cause. Again, surfacing our data, no matter how you use it. What if I'm a Splunk person? And I love to do a search for a timeline and I'm searching for a transaction ID or a customer or um, um, a certain error. I get a stack trace, which is what most people work from. OverOps injects this tiny link and the tiny link takes me back to the root cause screen. So I hope you guys are sort of seeing this theme of we're surfacing this, the, the most important part, which is a root cause screen, which is how do I get this MTTI and MTTR here, right? What happened? How do I solve it? And we surface it in all these tools. Last one, if I'm an APM, it doesn't matter the APM. I have an exception. I go look at the exception. Typically in an APM, in an exception, I'll get the magical stack trace. Woohoo! And then I tend to go to logs because the logs have more context because the applicate or uh, APM will capture what's called an exception object. It doesn't have all the lo extra logging that a developer might add. But notice, there's our tiny link. Again, the OverOps tiny link gives me back to the root cause screen. So if you 
ran this across the gamut of operations teams, developer teams, um, site reliability folks using different tools because they get comfortable with what they like. You have all will come back to that same root cause screen, and now we know the real issue. So that's that's the notion of the future, in my opinion. When you look at if I want to move faster, I need to solve issues faster, and and you can certainly do that with a tool like OverOps. 